crazy product videography with your iPhone. For the last two months, my girlfriend picked a new hobby, creating candles. So in this episode, we'll try to create some epic shots of the candles she managed to create. First thing, we have to control the light. Second, we have to produce the fire, a Dell for one euro and a light. Here I have a rotational table. Because it's plastic and we're gonna play with fire, we need some razor. The trickiest part is setting up the exposure for that scene because all the lights should be off. So the way how I do it, set my phone on a tripod, turn off all the lights, light the lighter and set the exposure according to the flame. Here is a fast lesson of composition. We have one big cube and three small cubes. If I have one big and one small, the composition is broken in that way. On that side is very heavy and on that side there is mostly nothing. Here it is how it would look. So what we do is to bring more small guys and in that way, now the big one doesn't look that big. Easy busy. The next shot is the Boca shot. So just go to Google and search for Boca. Here I download already the image. It doesn't matter if your TV is not a high-end quality. Like when you compare the images, the laptop is much better than the TV, but the phone will make it perfect. I want some movement, so I'll grab a water spray. Actually, that's a window cleaner, but I finished the window cleaner liquid and I put pure water. Don't forget to label it. Next we have the green screenshot. The setup is extremely simple. One light source, the phone is on a tripod and we have the rotational table. And here I purposely left a lot of free space between the green screen and the bottle because first they're very similar color and second there will be a lot of color cast. Plus our product is semi-transparent so there is a high chance that nothing will work out. Here I have a whole video explaining how to edit green screen on your mobile phone. Check it out. If you light some scene for first time, start always with one light. One light will give you the best results out there. Because the light shines from here, the object looks three-dimensional. Here we have shadow, here we have light. And that creates something interesting. And here we have thrown shadow from the object itself. <laughs> If you record for Instagram stories, you can easily pull it, but when we record horizontally, it's a little bit tricky. Here, what I'll do is to use my little fingers to support me and to swipe on the paper. Next, we have the rotating table. Mine is black, that's why I cut a piece of paper that will transform it into a white one. Let's turn the rotation. Grab the phone and come into macro mode. If you have some cups or something made out of glass, you cannot shine from front part. Otherwise the light will just go through the glass and you'll see nothing on the camera. For that we have to put the light here on the side or behind. Definitely the most annoying part about the product shots is that you have to clean everything and prepare everything in advance. Because you film the product from such a close distance, all the imperfections are visible. So it has to be perfect. The next thing, always work with gloves cause otherwise your fingerprints will be all around the glasses. <laughs> That's how I record products with my iPhone. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.